Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Jeremiah 33, 3. And that's our verse for the Great and Mighty Things program. Welcome. Uh, we're gathered here today to continue our series on intimacy. And uh, I'm Reverend Kendall Hetrick, Reverend Bob Butler, Reverend Gerald Canock. And uh, if you have not seen any of these programs before, you need to go back and catch up because we're way out ahead of you. <laughs> uh, although I'm sure that, that, that with our format, you can you can just kind of hook in where we're at and, and gain some out of it. Uh, we have already shared uh, uh, several programs, uh, and <laughs> yeah. so uh, we uh, we're just going to kind of catch in here again and and uh, and go through. Uh, one of the things that we have seen and what we've talked about as we've gone through it is that the the topic uh, ties changed. <laughs> into uh, uh, you know there's there's so many ways to go because everything is intimately uh, entwined in the Word of God. And uh, we know that all scripture is given, which is his mm -hmm. word, for inspiration, for edification, for comfort. And it's given that we might be thoroughly furnished to every good work. In other words, it's given to us so that our life will work and work well. Mm -hmm. uh, which takes us to John 10.10. 10. You know, the thief comes That's to right. steal, kill, and destroy. But right. he came yeah. that we might life. have life and have it more abundantly. abundantly. Uh, yeah. I like that translation of it, that more abundantly, because some, some of them just say to the full, mm -hmm. but but more abundantly yeah. is not only what you what you have room to contain, mm -hmm. but it runs over. Mm -hmm. I believe the Amplified says uh, overflowing, mm -hmm. uh, to the full and overflowing. To the full and overflowing, yeah, and, and, uh, uh, and, and that's, we believe that that's what God wants for us, yes. not just yes. enough to get by, but yes. uh, enough for us and enough to, to have for others. One of the things that, we, that we've seen and, and, and dealt with in the past is the fact that God provides seed for the sower and bread for the eater. Yes. Uh, I don't know if we've really ever done a teaching or a time on, on sowing and reaping. It doesn't ring a bell, but I think we probably have. Sowing <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure we, yeah. well, we, we done the, did yeah. the sowing of the seed. And, anyway, God not only just provides bread for us to eat, but he provides seed for us to sow that we, okay. so that we have more coming in all the time and so that we have that we can give mm -hmm. uh, because God, not, you know, um, I think it was Brother Hagin that always talked about when he was praying, you know, he said, well, you don't just pray, God bless me and my wife, mm -hmm. my son, John, his Not wife, us four no, no more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and yet that's where a lot of people's uh, mentality mm -hmm. is, is, is for themselves. And, mm -hmm. and, and I can understand that because most people are just getting by uh, mm -hmm. and, and it's taking all that they've got. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and that's all that, unfortunately, the people that they associate with are looking yeah. for. Uh, so you need to, to get hooked up with some people that are a little wilder, <laughs> a little mm -hmm. more aggressive in their in their well, belief. They're not living in the land of lack. They're living in the land of enough, or enough. more than enough, right. and they're able to produce. Amen. Yeah, amen. And all of that is good. Yes. <laughs> but where we're going to go with this one, we're going to take a little different direction on this one. Yeah. And uh, be interesting. It. The thing, th this will all come together as you listen. We'll, we'll see how all of these intertwine, like you mentioned. They're, mm -hmm. they're all intertwined. They yeah. all come together. They all have a part to play in intimacy with the Godhead. Mm -hmm. Primarily Jesus, because yes. he's the one that, that we are to be like. Now, <laughs> I, I'm going to throw this out just as a... You can get a hold of uh, us on our internet website. Yeah. And uh, get a hold of Mary and have her redo the nuggets and pearls on the becoming Christ-like, more intimate with Jesus on this one that I have in my hand that she put on earlier when we were doing the other 12 programs. Okay. 12 mm -hmm. programs? Yeah, yeah. No, it's more than that. 17 oh, programs. 17, yeah. 17 <laughs> programs. This is number 18. And this is 18, and we hopefully do uh, several more here. Uh, <laughs> hopefully. Yeah, it'll yeah, happen. We will. <laughs> it'll happen. Well, uh, <laughs> oh boy when, when we when we look at uh, intimacy with Jesus uh, and that's that's our subject staying on the subject intimacy with Jesus but we're going to we're going to come at it from a little different perspective than we have the other programs in this program we're going to look at it from what God has told us in his word is his perspective mm -hmm. on us operating on this earth mm -hmm. the way Jesus did and remember Jesus and mm -hmm. John 4:12 said, "The works that I do, you shall do, and greater works than these 
shall you do because I go unto the Father. Mm -hmm. Well, that's telling me, that's confirmation that God mm -hmm. wants us as believers mm -hmm. to be walking on this earth exactly the same way that Jesus did. And uh, <laughs> so the destiny of the church is to be on this earth the exact same as Jesus was when he walked for 33 years. Uh, we did a series on state of the church last oh, yeah. year, the year before, the state yeah, of the church. Like and uh, we were not, the church, uh, we are not where the church needs to be at this point in time in natural history. And God is waking up the church to bring us up to speed. So we will be, as we get closer to the day of rapture and all these other significant things that are in our very near future. We will look at our example, Jesus, compared to us and see how God is looking at us by faith. Now, we got to remember, everything God does, he does with words and with faith. Mm -hmm. Faith is a catalyst that makes the words happen. Uh, you can say a lot of stuff, but if you don't have mix your faith with it, it's not going to accomplish much. Mm -hmm. Well, God never said anything without his faith being involved. Yeah. That's why when he said something, it happened. And, and we need to really be the same way. And that's asking an awful lot from us uh, because we have this soul and flesh side of us that we need to uh, <laughs> get converted so that we can let our spirit man be the dictating force and not all these other things, especially our flesh. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yes. The most important thing about being a Christian is intimacy with Jesus or, uh, and including the whole Godhead. God yes. said, I'm, I'm part of this and yeah. so is the Holy Spirit. So mm -hmm. Jesus is, is the one that we connect with because he's the one that they came here as, as a physical being like us, walked on the earth for 33 years and showed us how we're supposed to be doing it now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, revelation of God's truth. This is a couple footnotes here. Revelation of God's truth will not replace your intimacy with Jesus. Yeah. It will only help you drop into the intimacy with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Your revelation of God's truth has to be a personal thing. Mm -hmm. uh, your your intimacy with Jesus will not grow on revelation knowledge that I have and share it with you. It has to become your revelation knowledge or your revelation okay. knowledge, not my revelation knowledge. Yeah. My revelation knowledge only helps me mm -hmm. in my intimacy with Jesus. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. a personal thing with our personal responsibility. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. Go for it. I know you got to say something. Well, I was going to say, we've been talking about this for over two years now. You yeah. <laughs> so yeah. It's, it's nothing new to us. Yeah. No. But it's new to people. But it's new to those there. people. So this is something that personally it was a revelation for me, Kendall, Bob, same way. We, we talked about these things, but it became a revelation of the Holy Spirit to each one of us. Yes. It was a personal thing. Yes. So we were able to to uh, glean from this and understand what God was speaking to us to help us on our journey as Christians or to become Christ-like. Exactly. So that's that's the the intimacy that we each, we each have with Christ and with the Father and with the Holy Spirit is what brings us to that uh, that whole realm of understanding who we are in Christ. Now, since we're all doing this on a personal basis, every believer does mm -hmm. this on his own personal basis. Yeah. And, and God is dealing with, God has dealt with these two guys differently than he's dealt with mm -hmm. me regarding their intimacy with Jesus. Yeah. And it had no bearing with me unless they shared what mm -hmm. God was dealing with them with yeah. me. So then I could pray about it and, yeah. and seek after that same yeah. uh, connection with Je the intimacy mm -hmm. with Jesus. Yeah. And that's how the body of Christ is supposed to grow mm -hmm. from each other, is sharing mm -hmm. the revelation knowledge that you have that's pertinent to you and your intimacy yeah. with somebody else. But, but the revelation knowledge itself does not connect you any better yeah. with Jesus than yeah. anybody else. Personal thing. It has to be that personal thing. I, I've told this to people before in ministry especially. You can't do it for them. Right. You that's know, exactly As much as you right. want to... You can't physically, spiritually do it for someone. They have to receive it and act upon the word and do it themselves. You can't get them born again unless they speak the words and have the have the the understanding in their heart to do these things. It's, see that you can't do it for them. 
that's one of the things about the fivefold ministry, especially mm -hmm. the teacher, that can become frustrating if you let mm -hmm. it because yeah. you want them to, to have it mm -hmm. so, so strong. Yeah. That, like I've said before, I, I wish people had a way you could open up their head and just mm -hmm. pour it in and slap yeah. their top back on and go, yeah. but mm -hmm. it doesn't work that way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wish it would for me. It wouldn't have taken me so long to learn what I learned. <laughs> but, yeah, I just got I just got derailed there. <laughs> oh me, I, I can I can identify with that one. <laughs> well, uh, <coughs> I think we all can. Yeah, and, and uh, when when we see people that are living so, uh, I say so far, because I, I see so many that are living so far be below, below mm -hmm. what yes. what they they are capable of mm -hmm. and what they could have, um, that you want to see them yeah, grow. grow you know it talks about god as a father here and we understand yeah. that that can understand no father wants to see his no. kids struggle no. and, and uh, uh, no good father <coughs> wants to mm -hmm. see him struggle we know that there's there's a a journey that they're going to have to progress through mm -hmm. uh, again uh, to to get that knowledge and revelation mm -hmm. knowledge to to come to where that they they want to be but when we see so many of the body of Christ living so far below what we believe is possible for them, mm -hmm. um, we we have that, uh, and, and we can see, we can see it sometimes in Jesus. You know, in His the ministry, he'd, he'd say, "Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, my people, if you'd only known yeah. who was here with mm -hmm. you, uh, yeah. you know." Uh, 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 the Samaritan woman said, "If you understood who mm -hmm. was talking to mm -hmm. you," yeah. um, and and we. So we we have that desire within us to mm -hmm. to to bring them to that place, but there has to be that work uh, again of the spirit. Sure, but yeah. they have to yield to it. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, um, it, it's interesting, and I know it's a little rabbit here, but I'll chase it real quick. Uh, <laughs> our our best benefits are also our worst pitfalls. Mm -hmm. uh, our free will is the most yeah. important thing that man <laughs> has ever had, and yet mm -hmm. that's the thing that gets us into problems yeah. so many times. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and, 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 and some other things, you know, the, the things that are the most wonderful, personal relationships, yeah. the, the most wonderful thing there are. Uh, but we're never, we're never trained in the, in the natural realm. We're never trained mm -hmm. on how to, how to uh, work out personal relationships mm -hmm. and, and and not in the church either mm -hmm. you know yeah learning to be intimate with the lord mm -hmm. well god has in in his word in his bible and it's been so misunderstood his technique to try and get us to comprehend exactly what intimacy from his mm -hmm. perspective is mm -hmm. yeah. see we've related it to the natural so much that we mm -hmm. don't even think about it relevant to the spiritual side yeah. the beings that we really are mm -hmm. uh, if, if we did the body of Christ would be in unity right yeah. now yeah. practicing it because yeah. we'd recognize the unity mm -hmm. that God was talking about that Jesus was talking about yeah. is in the spirit realm mm -hmm. and when we walk in the spirit realm <coughs> in unity yeah. we can walk together yeah. even though we've got differences yeah and we really are doing that without knowing it mm -hmm. a lot of us are yeah because but, we are we are confederate we are in covenant with each other yes. because of the blood of jesus yes. christ yes we yes. all have come into that same covenant with god the father through god the son and the holy spirit is the one that's bringing it about with, he, he with is, us he's the binding agent he's the binding agent which yes. brings the unity yes. into the body of christ yes and uh, that's why we are we are endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace as the scripture says we have that and we don't always understand it. We think, well, because of this, this doctrine may be different, and this doctrine may be different. We don't want to associate with them. That's, <laughs> that's wrong. Yeah, right. Because you're missing out on on the depth and the and the breadth of the body of Christ. Yeah, and that's what I was saying earlier. That each one of us mm -hmm. has revelation, knowledge, and intimacy. Right. Well, it's the same way with the, with the truths that have mm -hmm. been revealed in denominations. That's right. And, and they've closed it off and said, okay, we've got this one. We're not going to mess with all those other yeah. people because they don't have what we have. Well, mm -hmm. the devil uses that as oh, pride yeah, sure. to keep them from bringing right. the body of yeah. Christ together. Yeah. And, and thank goodness we've seen in our lifetime Mm -hmm. The walls of denominationalism falling yeah. right and left. Yeah. It's kind of like the Berlin Wall. It didn't take too long for the right point in time 
Well, that yeah. thing just disintegrated. Yeah. Well, the walls of the denominationalism mm -hmm. is also crumbling, yeah. and that's uh, yeah. more in the spiritual realm than it is in the natural realm. Yeah. But it's, it's taking place. It's happening. Yeah, it's yes, happening. it's happening. God is going to make it happen yeah. because he's going to have his, well, I got one here that talks about the destiny of the church. Uh, we are, God is going to have a church at the point of destiny that he planned for it originally. Mm -hmm. Now, if we don't see it yet, yeah. that's our problem. Uh, he sees it. He sees it, and, and we're in his drama. When God told me that we're living in his drama, and he took me to Revelations, I'm Alpha and Omega and everything in between, yep. Yep. Uh, I never really got the full impact of that mm -hmm. until I started getting into some of this where we're talking about revelation knowledge versus our intimacy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because our intimacy with us as individuals has a direct play on our personal <clears throat> destiny. It also has a direct, uh, a corresponding action with revelation knowledge sure because when we get into the presence of, of the lord in that intimate time he can begin to speak to us and we hear him clearly and he can reveal things to us mm -hmm. so much greater than what we would you know have with our our thinking natural thinking yeah so it's because it comes from the spirit and that's and, that's where the intimacy is so important and that's also one of the keys of this progression that we've talked mm -hmm. about yeah. for years God is a God of progressive revelation. Yeah. Well, he can only be progressive as we, we are, are progressive. Yeah. When we get it, then we can move on to another mm -hmm. layer. That's why we used yeah. to go way back and say, well, that's like a picture puzzle. And every yeah, time you get together. more revelation knowledge, more truth, you mm -hmm. put that piece in, yeah. your picture gets bigger. That's right. And as it gets yeah. bigger and bigger, you understand more of your role mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. Uh, Amen. What, what you see and what you hear is what you're going to put your faith in. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a law that applies both in the natural and in the spiritual. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what you see in here. When you see and hear something from here, it's feeding your spirit, mm -hmm. man, and your soul, and you're going to grow to another level from that. Yeah. Uh, same way in, in the natural. As you learn more and more principles of how this world works, mm -hmm. it, it gives you insight in how to use that knowledge in, in your everyday natural mm -hmm. living. Mm -hmm. So there's a, there's a correlation there. One of the other things uh, just came to me there. Not not only is is a progressive revelation, but it's it, it's a sequential revelation. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. yes, um, yes. Like like many of the things that we see in in the natural realm, um, you know, we I, I remember years ago one of the, the there was a young fellow came in and, and was ministering to some of the youth at something I was at, and he said, "I want a challenge." He said, "I something I want you to do." He said, I want you to get up here, but and I want you to take a step, but I want you to take the second step first. <laughs> well, you can't take the second step <laughs> first, the first, you know, and, and, and unfortunately that, that has somewhat, to, to a certain degree, has kind of derailed. Uh, I, I see mm -hmm. people that it has derailed because they're trying to take the second step yeah. first. Yeah. Uh, they, they mm -hmm. have, they're... Um, they're trying to believe for things mm -hmm. beyond where yeah. where they're where at they're because at. they have they're, they're working as a second or third step because some somebody has shared yeah. uh, here's what I here God showed me this or God did this mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. they're not to that place yet and <laughs> goes right back to what I said the, mm -hmm. they're they're not um, part of it part of it is the the, the fault of the preachers mm -hmm. uh, because we we point. Um, to the ultimate goal, yeah. Uh, but but a lot of times we haven't said, okay, this is what it you is. you've got b before you can get, mm -hmm. before you can believe for this, mm -hmm. you're going to have to start out yeah. here. Mm -hmm. You you've got to come to the uh, you know one of the things one of the first steps is we've got to come to to the decision that this word is true, true. Yeah. and it doesn't make any difference. Anything that goes against mm -hmm. this word, I'm not going with mm -hmm. it. Yeah. This is. The, the course of my life. So yeah. I've been God living says, my life for several it years. Is, it is it? Yeah. Uh, I, and I'm not. I'm not going to receive mm -hmm. any other report. Yeah. Um, and then once you've got that, once you've got that established that the God's word mm -hmm. is true and it's it's good, then when He speaks something to you, mm -hmm. you can say, okay, you know, yeah. and then you can go ahead mm -hmm. and, and progress from there. Amen. That's well, that 
I got hit by three or, th three or four different topics when you when you said that. But one of them was just what we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, your your revelation knowledge and growth is based on you, okay. not mm -hmm. me, yeah. not what I tell you. And that's where people have gotten into trouble. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's not entirely their fault. Mm -hmm. it, it, a lot of it is, is the church they're going to and the man that's preaching or teaching to them or women or whoever it is that's that's sharing truths from the word mm -hmm. that they should pick up and go study for themselves and grow uh, yeah. you have to have the foundation layers before you can build the house mm -hmm. and, and a lot of people are on a roof and they don't even have the house down below built yet mm -hmm. uh, and then they get into trouble and they say well you know this word doesn't work mm -hmm. yeah uh, been there done that uh, yeah. I, I used to be God pointed out to me that one of the things you were talking about. You, you just you just want them to have what you have, and yeah. and you think automatically they're where you're at, so you can help build them to the next mm -hmm. level and go there yourself. Where that's not the case, especially mm -hmm. if you're in the fivefold ministry. You got to remember, they may clear be back mm -hmm. here in in kindergartens, still yeah. getting fed milk, mm -hmm. and you're trying to give them a T-bone steak, mm -hmm. and you're choking them. Mm -hmm. And and yeah. uh, there's a lot of so-called ministers that are still on milk <laughs> that are trying to yeah. progress to meat and and they're messed up well if they're messed up then the people they're trying to lead are going to be have handicaps yeah. because yeah. Uh, you first of all you can't teach something you don't know okay. yeah. and, and a lot of times it, when you're studying the word it comes through mental ascent before it ever gets into your spirit man mm -hmm. You have to you have to get the mental are. ascent truth of it, mm -hmm. and study on it, meditate mm -hmm. on it, digest it until it becomes so real in your spirit, man, mm -hmm. uh, and, and your soul. Your soul is the transition between the mental ascent and your spirit knowledge, but uh, all of that ties together. But uh, mm -hmm. and and it, it it takes time. It takes yeah. time. Yeah. It, it it may not take much linear time. But it takes time. Uh, again, in intimacy takes time. Yes. We've got to spend time together. Yes. We've got to spend time in this yes. word yeah. before yes. your rhema word mm -hmm. yeah. becomes mine. That's right. That's right. Uh, you know, That's right. Logos and the rhema. Uh, I've got, and and we we want to jump mm -hmm. steps. You know, yeah. what, well. Hey, they got you know they believe God and they got this whatever it was. Hey, you got a new airplane. Uh, Come on, airplane. Yeah. <laughs> and and we we haven't progressed to the place. To, you know, we want to believe to, to get rid of cancer, and we haven't even believed to the place where we can receive a handful of aspirin to take care of a headache. I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah. we, you know, okay, we're, we're in the Olympics time. Olympics are just, just finished up. Uh, these guys that are lifting 400 pounds didn't start out with 400 pounds. <laughs> you know, sure. uh, they start and, they, and you progress and you work your way up to it. Then they might have started out as a teenager. Uh, most most of them did because most of them aren't that old to get into the Olympics. Yeah. Uh, That's true. Uh, Point uh, taken. You know, um, and and so what what we're what we're trying to get through to you is you need to get into this mm -hmm. for yourself. Don't yeah. just uh, it, yes, listen to good preachers. I listen to preachers all the time, and yes, I listen to to uh, as many of them as much mm -hmm. as I can. But that uh, that does not. Mm -hmm. negate the fact that I need to get in this right. book by myself mm -hmm. with just me and the Spirit and just say, okay, Father, what do you want to mm -hmm. show me here? And then, you know, um, you can go about it linearly or, or casually or however you want to do it, you know, point and shoot mm -hmm. or however you want to go point about it. Shoot. But That's... you've got you've got to spend time mm -hmm. with the Father, yeah. the Son, and mm -hmm. the Spirit mm -hmm. And their word, mm -hmm. and and yes, you can take you can take you'll you'll take what we say. You'll take what your pastor mm -hmm. says or, or others, and and then then you go back and you build on that. And you you uh, I always liked what John Garlock said. You know the dog bone thing. You you, you get a hold of something and, and you chew <laughs> on it a little bit, and then you, then you bury it, and then mm -hmm. you know and dig later it up again. you go dig it up again and chew on it some more, um, and uh, the. Uh, um, that's that's what it takes to get that um, systematic, sequential, progressive revelation, revelation mm -hmm. and that 
the, the, the same thing is true in, 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 in the intimacy. Uh, if you're going to have a good intimate relationship, you don't just go grab somebody and go to kissing and mm -hmm. and on from there, which is what's fouled up the whole world in the sexual arena. Yeah, right. uh, they they want to progress to here and call it a, a, a quality intimate relationship where you've got to start out build again you know you start out building that really? that that intellectual that that, that mental mm -hmm. ascent you know uh, hey you know uh, let's because one of the things that, that we see so much is that uh in interpersonal relationships once it reaches a place of sex then then the the the, the life of the relationship stops mm -hmm. you know it, it may be going up pretty good but once it gets there uh, mm -hmm. it, it'll plateau. That's what one of the things that you deal with in, in uh, marriage, marriage counseling. Yeah. You say, okay, listen here, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that ties into what I was talking about earlier about God in the Word trying to illustrate to us the mm -hmm. kind of intimacy, and, and we're going to see it in, in mm -hmm. the next program probably more, the kind of intimacy that He wants us to get a hold of, get the revelation of, because mm -hmm. lust, intimacy, Lasts for a short time, mm -hmm. but and and uh, the body of Christ, the bride of Christ, you know, they look at that as intimacy or the husband and wife that intimacy, and they get it all screwed up because they think of it only in the natural realm, mm -hmm. and they they don't carry it over to the spiritual side yeah. at all, and and that's where God is trying to to draw us to learn mm -hmm. what He's talking about with our spirit people, mm -hmm. our spirit man, mm -hmm. with with your spirit man, yeah. with your spirit man, yeah. with my wife's spirit person. Because when you get into that side of it, sex isn't even an issue. Mm -hmm. and, and God, in, in the four Gospels and in the epistles, there's some examples to bring that out. Mm -hmm. uh, but people have missed it because, and it isn't always their fault. It's the guy that's yeah. teaching them or who they're listening to yeah. that may be all screwed up in his own thinking and he's trying to propagate it with somebody else. Mm. Well, uh, unfortunately, we've stumbled across a lot of this ourselves. Yes. <laughs> uh, because we have not had any good teaching mm. uh, for mm -hmm. so long. Uh, and then we stumble across something and, and we think, hey, wow, I've got this now. Uh, you know, how many people have, have went in and said, wow, I got it. It's worship. <laughs> yeah, you, it's you know, well, well it's, it's part of it. Worship, worship is part of it, and mm -hmm. and 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 worship is wonderful. But so many people come to that worship, and and you can come to that mm -hmm. uh, that uh, that worship attitude and think that you have got a good, you know, yeah. wow, I'm end up with the Lord, mm -hmm. well, on yeah. a very limited basis. Yeah, the, you know, um, you might be in His presence. You can be there in but the presence. But that intimacy is, is yeah. not quite there right. yet. Not quite yeah. there yet. That's mm -hmm. right. That's exactly right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, I mean, thank God for worship and good oh, worship yeah. and thank, thank God for, uh, for all of it. But when, uh, when, it, when it's done right and we mm -hmm. get it, yeah. we say, oh, yeah. <laughs> now I, I see. You know, yeah. I, I wish I could have saw this back then, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, in John 6.63, it says, it is the mm -hmm. spirit that quickeneth. Mm -hmm. That's right. The flesh profiteth nothing. Nothing. Thy, the words with, that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the, the spirit and the life. That's the aspect. That we that's need. the aspect that Jesus is speaking. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Wherever he is speaking or God is speaking or the Holy Spirit speaking, we need to be attentive and listen mm -hmm. to what he's saying, what the Lord is saying. Right. And uh, when we are, then we can grow. In that regard. So you're just you're just saying it another way from yeah. what I just said a minute yeah. ago that yeah. God is trying to bring us into intimacy and we're looking at it on the natural mm -hmm. side where you're talking about hey mm -hmm. they're they're dealing with the word in the spiritual side mm -hmm. that's what we should yeah. be looking at and one of the things that, that I've seen is that God the Father will speak something and or Jesus will speak something in in the throne room and the Holy Spirit is beginning to speak it to the body of Christ. Yes. So that spirit and and in life is already into the into the earth, even before the foundations of the world. Mm -hmm. God spoke, and these things are. He saw these things as though they are, mm -hmm. not yeah, like us. Well, where are they? Where are they? Mm -hmm. God saw it in His spirit before. He's a spirit, and He spoke it out. His faith, like right. you said earlier. And that became, everything became that way. Mm -hmm. So the value of, of God's word is so vital 
that uh, you know we just can't say enough. We're about out of I time. I think we're out yeah, of time. I, I, I had something I wanted to add on to yours that would just <laughs> amplify yeah, yeah, it. Add it later. Well, tune <laughs> in to the next program and see where we go from here. <laughs> I know where we're going from here. <laughs>